Hey, everybody, it's been a long time. Well, after that election, I wanted to humor some people. So I took some time off. I did like everybody prodded me to, to give this guy some time and watch him and see what he was going to do. And I have. There'll be more to come on my thoughts on that later on. But the purpose of this video is to address two big events that are coming in our near future. The first is the solar eclipse. Everybody and their dog has done some kind of something on this. And the September event. So I'm going to put my two cents in. And I've done a lot of reading. I've done a lot of thinking. I've done a lot of praying. And so this, as you know, should know, is the path that this eclipse is said to be going to take. Going from left to right, Oregon to South Carolina. I am located right about there where the crosshairs are at in Oklahoma. So I will not get a full darkening effect where I'm at. There should most likely be some effect of shading. But what do I think about it? Do I think it's a big thing? Do I think it's a, just a normal cyclical thing? Uh, yes, and I think yes. I think, and I, I say this mainly because of the event coming right after it in September, that as we're told in the Bible, God made the sun and the moon, and he made them for signs to separate the day and the night, and seasons, and so when you look those up in Hebrew, you know, you're going to find out that signs are, can, can be signaled. Well, I think this is some kind of a signal that God is sending us. Now, is he just sending us a, hi, how you doing down there, kind of a signal? Or, uh, hey, I'm still around, don't forget that I'm here. I'm not going to go there and say that. I think this carries a deeper meaning to it. And I think that deeper meaning is just like a, a parent would tell their child when they've told their child over and over and over and over not to do something or I'm going to have to spank you. And they have held off and held off and held off and held off. So finally, at least they used to, Maybe not in modern society now. Somebody takes off their belt. And when a child sees somebody took off their belt, then the child knows something may be coming. As some children did in the past, they would tempt it and tempt it and tempt it and still be taunting and thinking that nothing's going to happen, nobody's going to spank me. But ultimately, more times than not, the parent, because they loved the child, had to take some action. And the reason being, because if, if you don't love your child, and they won't respond, you have to show there are consequences for your activities. And if you're doing bad activities, there's a consequence for doing it. So I believe, myself, my personal view, what has come to me, and I think in my heart, is this is a signal. Our Father is telling all his children in this country, specifically our country, that our sin as, as a nation has reached a limit that 
we probably won't be allowed to continue in for a lot longer. The drugs. And you talk about the prostitution. And you talk about the gambling. And you talk about the abortion. And the murders. And how we, we become cold towards, for the most part, the, the big part, cold towards homeless people and destitute people. People are so concentrated on how much money it takes to take care of, of someone who has nothing. You know, that they, they want to group these extremely poor and destitute people into a hole that they're just the people that sit around doing nothing on purpose just to get free money, which I admit there is a segment that does do that. But for the most part, people that receive help actually need help. And we could draw into immigration, but that's not the purpose of this. The purpose is how our hearts as a nation have grown colder towards our brothers and sisters here and around the world. If any of these ideas about striking North Korea held any water at all, and we're not just lip service, we have to understand that for a long time we've been thinking wrong. We have not been thinking about the sanctity of life given to us by our Father. We think the extermination of a life is just some thing that doesn't bother us. You know, if we sent missiles and things into, say, Korea, North Korea, and we killed babies, infants, teenagers, young adults, older grandma and grandpas, all because we're told here by our government and our leaders that this is what we have to do to keep ourselves safe. Are you really on board with that? That those very people that I just mentioned, who are not part of a military, who have no control over what their leaders or military does, they actually think that they deserve to die. They're just trying to live, just like you, just like me, just like everybody else. We'll let that sink in and think about it. But that's one other reason I think this signal is coming about. We're being prodded to turn away from all this evil and turn back to the love and the teachings of our Lord Jesus and our Father in Heaven. So that's my take on that. I think it's a signal. Now I just pulled this up randomly to have some animation. Now this, if, if, if this Stellarium plot or Starry Nights or whatever system you're using to see this, if these programs and imageries can actually hold water and be accurate, <clears throat> which would be kind of, you know, not the easiest thing in the world for us to look up there and see ourselves. If this actually happens, like it's projected to happen, when it's projected to happen, I think it holds great significance. And I also believe that just as its original significance was in the past, with the birth of our Lord, 
whether this heralds something good or something bad or not remains to be seen. A lot of people are linking it to the rapture. But I'm not going to make a prediction on that. But I, I am going to say I think this also is definitely something everyone should pay attention to and try to learn about it as much as they can and how significant this is going to be in their lives from the time that it, it happens, if it's really going to happen, to everything beyond that point. Because it's, it's telling us something and, and I want to say it's telling us that he is coming soon. Now, I didn't say he's coming to take us up soon. So, listen to the words that I've chosen to use in what, what I think. I'm not saying this, I think this could be a rapture. I wish it was a rapture tomorrow or two seconds from right now, you know. But this, I think, could mean get your house in order. I have given you a signal, and now I'm giving you the sign. I'm giving you two things that you can see yourself and you've already had the word to be reading and studying to prepare for my coming so yeah I think both these things are are big and I wish for all of you out there that you take them both very very, very seriously. And do not think this is just something normal. No big thing. Because if this is like what I think it is like, You'll be caught flat-footed when things begin to happen. So now that I'm back, I'll start it off again. I will be speaking about what has been happening in the last six, seven months with our new leadership. I'll put together something in the next few days and air out what what it appears to me to be <clears throat> because I chose not to choose. It's like Adam and Eve had a choice to make, you know, either eat the fruit or not eat the fruit. That was a choice, but they had another choice and they could have chose not to make a choice and just keep everything the way they were. You see? So as far as the uh, whether I'm partial one way or another against a political leader, I chose not to choose either one of them. I didn't say, eh, pick the lesser of two evils. I chose not to pick neither one. Nobody at all on any ballot. Anyway, we'll get into that next time. That you remember all these things and start thinking hard about them because things are going to start happening, especially after this appears. So, you all be safe. God bless every one of you. I'll be back soon.